Hello, viewers. Welcome to part two of Ben 10 Alien Force Bill Gax Attacks on Xbox 360. It's time to play the second, or, uh, well, yeah, we, we will be at the second level. But first, we have to get past this flying stage right here. And hold the X button for heavy attacks. Right trigger is your special move. In fact, I, uh, I feel like right now that I should have shown this at the end of the, the last part because it probably would have been, probably made more sense or something. I, I'm not so sure how to say it, but here we are flying around and destroying these asteroids. You can see in the bottom left corner that you have the option to skip this part. And I probably would, but I believe I should just show it off at least once. You know, so you see what it's like. I believe I mentioned before that between every level, you have these blind stages. And really, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of flying stages like these. So that's why I'm pretty much going to skip the rest of them. Well, apparently the special move is the lasers. I mean the missiles. These are the lasers. Not, that's not the missiles. And I'm not so sure how long this one goes on for. Ah, can't ship go any faster. Oh look, I think that's an enemy ship. Is it? I'll take that as a yes. Okay, it's out. Oh, there's another. And another. That's right, keep it coming. I like when there are enemies to fight. Oh, come on, I'm hitting it. How am I not hitting it? Oh, come on. That's it. Get out of my way. How much longer till we get to Vulpin? It should be almost over. Alright, finally. So now you know what the flying levels are like. And now, we are here at Bullpen, the home planet of Wildnut, who is another of Ben's classic aliens. Wow. So this is Vulpin. I've always wondered what my aliens' home planets were like. You really need to get out more, Ben. Grandpa? How are we gonna find him? Guys, look! A plumber's batch! Don't touch it, Gwen. It might be a trap. Or not. Ben! I hope you find this message in time. Bill Gax's forces have already invaded Vulpin. Plumber Intel has it that they're using the refinery here to create some special piece of alien tech for Vilgax. Identity unknown, purpose unknown. But if Vilgax wants it, you know it can't be good. You have to find and intercept that alien tech in the refinery before Vilgax shows up to get it. I'll be in touch. You heard the man. You guys, stay with ship. Uh-uh, no way, Ben. We're coming with you. If Bill Gax does show up, it's gonna take all of you to hold him off. I hate when he's right. I'm going in. So, once again, Ben's going solo. Apparently he's gonna be for the whole game. Well now. Oh! Okay, so Bill Gax's drones are already here. Let's burn them up again.
Okay. I don't mind that you guys called for backup. Ring of Fire. Nice. Oh, you're still kicking. And now you're not. Okay, well. So, it turns out that I still have all ten of my aliens. In fact, I should probably mention this re real quick. When you play a new game, and you get to level two, half of Ben's aliens are gone, which means you have to unlock them all again. But I, I guess that since this is my second time playing, I no longer have to unlock them again. I already still have ten of them. Which is fine by me, I always like when you have all ten, rather than just half. So for this part, it's time to go Spider Monkey, and obviously avoid the electricity. Oh god, faster, faster! Uh, oh, okay, I made it. Yeah, those are clearly unsafe too. You guys made me go ape on you, you know that? So here's an area that requires swamp fire. You can see that gas coming out, and- You should be able to ignite those gas fumes with swamp fire's fireballs and destroy obstacles. Give it a shot. So yeah, Gwen already just explained it. So let's do it. Fire. Boom. I like making stuff explode. And now we have platforming. Good thing Swamp Fire also has a double jump. Okay, and I made it. And I thought it was gonna sink a little faster. Oh hey, Wolpin answers. I expected to encounter them, and they clearly don't appreciate Ben's company. Yeah, how you like that? Oh, of course, I knew there'd be more. When you take out all the Wolpin Mancer in this area, you're gonna face a mini-boss, pretty much. And it's a mini-boss that'll take, well, it'll take a while, because... Well, uh, I'll, show, I'll show you why that is when I get to it. So here's the mini-boss. These giant, alien, snake-like creatures. So, to take them out, you gotta throw fireballs at their mouths while they're breathing the gas. And the problem with this is that they w they take way too long before finally releasing gas for me to throw fireballs at. So there's no telling when the I get to do it again. And this is the only way you can take out the snakes. All you can do is just keep dodging their attacks until they finally decide to bring out the gas. So this part right here could be rather boring. Oh, that's the ticket! And yes, already! Hurry, do it fast! Yeah, good. Yeah, you bozos will never reach me from here. So, that's just what I'm gonna do. Stand here until they finally breathe gas at me. Come on, just bring out the gas. We don't have all night. Oh, jeez. Come on. Enough of that. That's more like it. And again. Okay, so this part's almost over. Oh, actually, one of the snakes is already dead. Come on. I just want to finish you. On my first time playing this game, I had no clue what I was supposed to do, but that was because I didn't pay attention to them uh, breathing gas. I never noticed that before until a little later. There were several times in this game where I had to stop and almost look up a walkthrough until I somehow soon figure stuff out. 
And please be over. Yes. Thank you. So that should Use get rid of Cannonbolt's burnout ability on the ramp to clear wide gaps. Uh, right. So this is one part of the game that would require a cannonbolt. And you can see over there, there's a health upgrade. Although I thought I already got that on my first time. But let's just get it anyway. Okay, so nothing happened. I assumed that I already got it. And, uh, oh, whatever. Let's just get back over there now. Oh, hey, more gas. It's more igniting time. And now we got platforming and more pipes for Spider Monkey to traverse. Uh oh. Now what do I? Oh wait, more gas. So I gotta ride this. And even more gas. So let's see if I can make it without getting hit by that. Okay, so we have a new enemy. And obviously their lasers don't scare me one bit. Why do you bozos never learn? You never learn. That vent will take you out always. You never stand a chance against them. Hey, is that a... Oh, hey, an energy upgrade. Did I not get this before? No, I didn't. Well, glad I found it then. And what is with that laser up there? Seriously, back on! You Imperial Muted Mutts. Yeah, that's right. Burn you all to dust. Or ashes, rather. So now, let's make this hand explode. Oh, there's another. Okay. And I take it that'll get this door open. And good thing that made the laser stop. Oh, jeez. Ben can get through this himself. No problem. You can fight enemies as Ben in human form if you want to, but really, he's definitely pretty weak as a human. I can already tell. Oh, I see a web point. Is there even anything? Oh, wait. Ah. More platforms to ride on. How wonderful. And there's another lever that I must pull. So, that made a ramp appear. Yep. So, it's time to roll out. Well, I take it that enemies are gonna appear here? Of course. 
Yeah, I, I went goop for no reason. Eat my acid! And drop the shield already! Okay, so, oh no, four Vulcan Mancers. Yeah, you don't like acid, don't you? Why would you like acid? Come on, just get slimed and stay slimed. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're really... Okay, that one's out. And now, you are next. Expire! Expire, all of you! Ah, thank you. Back to Cannonbolt. Cannonbolt. Not, so, not so sure if I should do this as Cannonbolt, but... Nah, I did fine. And now, Swamp by your time again. Fire. So I'm guessing Swampfire is the most important alien for this level. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need someone with a better double jump than Swampfire. You gotta hop along these things that open up. And just what I needed, something to blow up. I should be able to make it from here, good. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. So now, time for Swampfire to do his thing again. That got the door open. Must not jump too early. Okay, moving on. Oh jeez, not more of those. And, ah, uh, made it. Wasn't so sure if the dodge roll could clear that. Let's do some pris uh, prismatic power on these guys. Just back off and deal the wrap of Chroma Stone. Oh, come on. Why you shield? Shields suck. Okay, shield's gone. And that, you dropped the laser, okay? Ah, uh, well. And now, back to Cannonbolt, again. You gotta use the Burnout ability on these. So you gotta blow them up. Here's another. That's two. Time to get number three. All right. I think we're at the boss. Would you look at what we have here? Why, I do believe it to be the mighty Ben Tan. Hey, can I float him up real good now, Octagon? Can I? You guys aren't as dumb as you look. You're dumber. Huh? Wait a minute. You shouldn't have ought to have done that, boy. Now I'm mad. That's right, the second boss is the Breedle Brothers. I still haven't mentioned that this is another thing I really like about this game, is that it has a lot more characters from the series, including supporting characters and, of course, villains. So it's nice to see the Breedle Brothers here. And I gotta heal up first, because I was already low on health when the fight started. 
So Octagon will always be in the center of the stage while Rhomboid tries to smash you. Don't make me come over there. Now I'm pretty sure there's a specific timing that I must get to. Oh. Oh, okay, so that attack you can't block. Now let's see. I wonder if I, uh, I trade the guys to shoot or attacking each other or something. Or maybe, uh... Okay, I don't exactly remember how I can make these guys vulnerable. Oh. Oh, Atagan is, uh... Oh, wait a minute, there's gas around. Okay, so I gotta go swan fire for this. And I gotta find some health best. Oh, come on, I was attacking that barrel, but it wasn't. There we go. Uh oh, Octagon just shot Rhomboid. You idiot. Now, come on, just make the gas appear again. Oh, I think I have to make him shoot these things, or something like that. Maybe not. Eat my flames! Well, that damaged Dr. Gun. Oh no, get him! Get back, you! Oh, man. Well, actually, I... The fire seems to be working somewhat. And now Dr. Gun's dizzy. Oh, yes! Oh. Oh, man, I just damaged myself right there. I may just die here. But at least now I know what to do. I suppose that you're supposed to keep dodging their attacks until they make gas appear, and then you ignite it. And in the meantime, you can try to trick them into damaging each other, or making each other dizzy. Weeds, critters like you. Yeah, I bet you do. Burn, Rob Lloyd! Seriously, you, your your aiming sucks. It really does. Oh man, Octagon, you shot your own brother again. Well, then come over here. Oh yes. Yup, that definitely does a ton of damage. Ooh, way to blow up Octagon. I mean, a uh, way to blow up Rob Boy there. Ring of Fire. Oh. No, get up, get up! Yeah. Oh. I must heal again. I am a whiz at dodging your laser shots, I tell you. Weeds, critters like you. Yeah, you already said that. Yeah. Yes! Let's end this! No, oh. Okay, well I damaged myself again, but I defeated them. Ben, you've got to destroy this energy core before Vilgax can get hold of it. So after you defeat the Breedle Brothers, you gotta destroy that energy core, and then the level will be over. Energy core, be gone! Okay, cutscene time. Well, I'm glad I finally got to see Wild Mutt's planet. I'm definitely ready to head back to Earth now. Let's go home. Another plumber's badge. Ben, things are far more complicated than I thought. Plumber Intel has discovered that Vilgax is scouring the universe for a rare energy core, the kind that can power a null void projector. Like the one Vilgax used to take over the Earth. 
is going to use. If we don't stop him... Bomber Intel hasn't determined what Bill Gax plans to do with it exactly. At least you've kept him from being able to get one on Vulpin. Good job, Ben. But there are other places in the universe he can find this rare energy core. One is Terradino. I'm headed there now. So, that's obviously the next planet we're going to. So there's the second flying stage, which I'm not going to show because you already seen one of the flying stages. I'm not so sure if any of them are different from one another, but I mentioned before that they're not my kind of levels in video games. We're just going to skip straight to Terradino. And of course, this is the end of part two of the playthrough. Let's just see if there's another cutscene. No Grandpa Max? I hope he's okay. Ah, don't worry. The old guy can take care of himself. I think. Uh-oh. Another plumber's patch. Fire it up. Ben, I hope this message gets to you in time. Gilgax's forces have already taken over the planet Terradino as well. But as of this recording, they have not. Repeat not yet relayed the energy core from here to Vilgax. It's located in a nearby temple. That's all the intel I have. You've got to destroy this energy core too before Vilgax can get hold of it. But be careful. You guys better stay. Yeah, we know. Stay with ship, fight off Vilgax if he shows up, and basically save the day while you're off hero. Uh, sidekick's work is never done. Well said, Kevin. <clears throat> I believe when on the on the new game when you first get to this level you unlock goop, which of course I already have. You know what? Uh, I'll forget it. So that's it for part two. I'll see you later in part three, where Ben ventures of, uh, you know, ventures on in Terradino. Bye, everyone.